Greetings! In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Activity and Resource Completion Settings within eClass. First, navigate to your course and turn Editing on on the top left-hand corner. And next to any activity or resource you've added, or if you're adding a new one, you can click Edit and Edit Settings. Within a file, if you have the appearance set to Embed, the file will be embedded on a new page when a student clicks on it. The activity completion can be set so that students can manually mark the activity as completed, which is default throughout the system. You can have it not included and show activity as complete when conditions are met. All of the activities and resources within eClass have very similar settings and will differ slightly from others. For instance, this one only allows the students to view it as a completion requirement. Selecting this means that you will be able to see that a student has completed it by at least viewing the file, image, or document you have uploaded. This can be done also in a page. At the bottom, under Activity Completion, you may change this to When Conditions Are Met, and that a student has to view it to complete it. You can also set a time frame for when the students should be completing this and you will see the students that have completed this within that range between now and the date you select. Within a forum, there are slightly more settings under activity completion. You can have it set to a student must at least view it. It must require a grade for it, a rating or a whole forum grade. Students must post discussions or replies a number of times, so either one in total, they must either create one post or discussion or reply, that they must create at least one discussion, and must create another number of replies. And you may also set it to expect completion on a specific date. Our last example is within an assignment. A student must view the activity to complete it, a student must receive a grade to complete this activity, and student must submit to this activity to complete it. The student must receive a grade to complete this activity or that they must submit are some of the common ones that are used throughout the system. Utilizing these allows for the updating of a checklist and for you to be able to check the reports within course management seen under activity completion. You will be able to see which students have completed any of the given tests as seen here. You can sort by the activities you have in any order of the course and by name of the student. You may also export this by clicking on it and downloading it as a file to be viewed in Excel or Google Sheets. Students will be able to see the completion settings underneath each activity and if they are selected as mark as done, be able to click and see that as well. If you have listed multiple conditions, you and the student will be able to see them listed here. They will check off automatically and turn green as the student completes it, and they will be able to see that they have completed a portion of the assignment. Students and instructors will also be able to see it within the assignment itself. It will then update after a student has completed some or all of the required material. And they will see that on the course page as well. Thank you for watching.